A new and different way of life. You are listening at FameTV.info. Author's Note Asterisk my story will only get more ridiculous and vulgar from now on, I'll try and make it as entertaining as possible, so please bear with me people. This story is more comedy slash action than anything asterisk my name is Ryujin Sazakawa, yesterday, July 24th of 2024, I got 17 years old, yes it's the same guy, don't be disappointed. I live in Tokyo now with my new family, me and Yuriko got adopted by a friend of mom's, 12 years ago. The family's relatively well off, but I never liked being dependent of them so I worked as soon as I could, I did well in my studies, my memory helped a lot, I had worked my ass off to finish high school very early by skipping grades and finish at 16, I'm no genius though. I practiced my martial arts, a thing I'm quite thankful of, as soon as my body could take heavy loads. In short you could call me an accomplished young man. Ms. Sazakawa ordered me to take two years off even though I wanted to start university right away. So I had two years to waste, which she says is necessary, starting summer break. Waking up at 5h30 this morning, I find myself looking at myself in the mirror of my room, there stood a 1m80 young boy with a well-toned body, dark skin, more like you'd probably think I'm some Asian that just likes to sunbath, my face is composed of a straight roundish nose, half-closed obsidian eyes, people often ask me if I smoke weed. Small pointish ears and smooth and thick dark messy hair. By my first girlfriend description of me was that I looked like a cute but dangerous delinquent, I didn't understand WTF she was talking about. I always do some light exercise in the morning consisting of 250 push. Ups, squats, abdominos, followed by a 1h and a half jog in the neighborhood before coming back from martial practice and a good bath. I had come to understand that my body was far different than others, First of all I had found out that the head had actually found a way for my system to absorb the qualities for aphrodisiac, it doesn't work on me but I saw the effects on my first girlfriend when I was 14. She squirted from a deep kiss and fainted, the idiot doesn't remember touching her all over the place with crazy techniques, ever since then girls avoid me saying I'm a maniac who uses drugs I fabricate myself on girls like test subjects, coup. My fluids had turned into drugs damn it meaning are extremely dangerous if swallowed while it's really weak on touch. Another thing I didn't know was how my endurance was abnormally high or that my muscles don't wane off even after months of laziness, I even think I have natural disposition for pink muscles, I can't tell. There's also how my movements are always corrected by themselves, I'm no genius seriously. The mornings I proceed to wake up everybody, first comes mom, Saramine Sazakawa, a widow ever since I've come here, she's short around 1.56m with an almost round face elongated by a small chin, round ears, small pointy nose, slit for eyes which apparently are light brown, short dark brown hair, huge boobs and ass and glossy smooth skin, the lowly chubby, they call her. She's always smiling giving you the impression of watching sunflowers at all times, she even smiles when she's angry. I don't get it. She's the one that work in the house, vice president of the Soul Company, the company that first came with VR technology in 2020 and the Vermorp that came out six months ago, New Myths, a fantasy-based game that's all the rage recently, boasting of 99% realism with a touch of amazing modified Norse mythology backstory in a planet four times bigger than Earth. It's also RL friendly they said, so these guys are always busy, which I don't get much since the world's governed by an. AI goddess. Anyways, in short, she got awake early. Miss Sazakawa. Ryubu, five more minutes Munya, smack. Wake up ka.san, it's already 7.30, I said readily while flipping her forehead awake, WHA. Hatapatapata, jumping from the bed, I look at her running and flailing, that's real funny pft. Oops, almost laughed there. I don't want to see the smiling no mask, I think while getting to the next room. Next comes Yuriko, I open the door of the room next to mine, and there she is, the eternal sleeping beauty, yeah, her mutation, unlike mine that's protected by my constitution, was research on eternal beauty, basically immortality. The researchers implanted in her long living tree cells and the cell of what they thought was real dragon remains, I have some too, 
but except strong skin and bones, my body neutralized everything else. Well they didn't succeed and Yuriko only ages slowly, I don't even know how old she is, she won't tell you moron. Next to her bed is the white wolf, I don't know what it does so don't ask me, he's more of really huge dog really. At the height of 173 m Yuriko had long black hair, thin straight nose, beautiful reddish pink lips, and fair white skin, curves in all the right places with thin waist, yep definitely Yamato Nadashiko, her beauty's astonishing, beautiful, I let out silently, pa. And she had to open her beautiful emerald eyes right when I was staring at her, she's glaring at me. Yaha. I say cold sweat dripping down my back, I dot I dot it's morning you know. I'm getting flustered obviously, is that so, she says, eh. That's all. It's getting awkward you know, then w dot we're waiting for you downstairs since you're the cook, my voice got higher there, is that so, she says again with a deadpan look, she's always like that, I got more scared of her when I got that nightmare of her strangling me with tree roots, absurd right. But you never know it might happen. I'll get ready, so, get out, did she just blush? Dan that was cute, oh dot oh. Right I'm out then, I say while running outside. Phew that was exhausting somewhat, what was? I I I. Yuriko's already finished changing, that was startling, even though her appearance should be dazzling she's actually hard to notice, she's like expensive decoration, which I find mysterious, and she never goes out except for shopping. Ah I. I meant the jogging this morning ah ha ha that was an obvious lie, everybody in the house knows I have ridiculously high stamina, and the proof is a, uh, is that so, while narrowing her eyes, she hate lies, but I'd prefer dying than tell her the truth. Fion, right, Ima make breakfast, she says while going on the first floor, she shrugged me off didn't she? Well I'm kind relieved actually. The last place is in the twins' room which is right next to mom's room and right in front of Yuriko's room. The twins are two 15 years old Bishujos, Serena and Irino are identical twin, spitting image of their mother's face except for the slit eyes, height and hair color, the girl's eyes are a mix of bright brown and green in some parts, and blonde hairs almost golden, they had the same height at 165 m. Serena is outgoing and bright but she's really mean while Irino is shy and introverted but she's a closet pervert and kind of way too attached to me, actually she only gets loud with me, it creeps me. Out sometimes, not that I'll ever say so. You could tell them apart with their physics alone, Serena is sportive and has a lean waist and average breast while Irino has big waist with a plump ass and small breast, one thing they have in common is how lovely they are, and how lazy they get once home. Wake up you bunch lazy asses. I screamed in the room, KYAA, they both screamed, R. Did I overdo it, peeking in the room, I can see their flustered faces staring at me, wake up already would you? I said again this time softer, why dot yes, Irino's the first to respond and apply, as always, while Surin is pouting, mew, Rio dot nii that's scary you know, hey hey, Sorry okay. Now get up and get ready, breakfast is on its way, probably, I mutter under my breath. When I got out of their room, I return in mind to take my black dragon necklace, which father gave to mother then to me, next to my now empty memory cards. Both memory cards contained a very brief apology and explanation of the situation, which I already figured out before, while saying by the time I watch this everything will already over, there's no revenge plot people. Then father's memory card were about a continuation on his original fighting technique which consist of blending the advantages of different martial arts for different optimizations. Speed focus, strength focus, technique focus, and their own variations. It also had his very own created from scratch dual wielding blade martial arts he called Black Dragon Sword Art, his father likes dragons alright, it also says about my family mottos, woman comes first in everything, except death which I like a lot, and, your body is the only thing that's yours, weapons are the extra extensions, or again, the only beings you should be afraid of are called, woman, while saying a bunch of dirty jokes and he kept insisting he won't leave any of his secret. Researches of weapon making, but still teaching me how to appraise them strictly. 
Mother's memory card was also a continuation of my already vast lesson of morals from different point of views and an even larger knowledge of human biology followed by strict teachings of the importance of economy. Indiana at the end she kept crying and apologizing while making me remember to wipe the cards clean, since once is enough for me. It was the second and last time I cried out of sadness. Now they're more of a memento than anything. When I got downstairs everybody was already at the table waiting for me. I'm pretty much happy with my new family, they're the only thing I need to protect now. When I think about it, I'm the only man in this house aren't I? Breakfast consisted of buttered toast, omelet with a bunch of vegetables, hot sausages, with orange juice and milk. A big container of it. No wonder they're so full of curves everywhere. Pervert, someone said that, but even my sensitive hearing couldn't make out who said it. Then it happened like always, Sarah is rushing and strangling herself, Serena is talking too much, Irino is staring daggers at me and Yuriko is expressionlessly eating silently. Right before going out Ka.san said this. Ah. Before I forget Ryubu, Yuriko, the company's sending us capsules today so be sure to receive them for me okay. Thanks by, Kachak, closing the door there was silence in the house, the twins stopped bickering and Yuriko was smiling. A.H. so beautiful. Memory save. Get. Woohoo I'm twice as happy now, I'm practically trying not to grin, was unsuccessful though, cause she stopped smiling and narrowed her eyes at me. F asterisk asterisk asterisk. Me and my stupid smile. It's the twins that broke the atmosphere thankfully, Kaya. Yes. Serena screamed and Irino, Irino was hugging me and silently screaming in my shirt, you were right next to your sister why not hug her? Actually when did she get here? Forget it. When the company guys came they brought four capsules, guess Ka.san is not playing, oh well. For the twins a yellow one for Serena and a pink one for Irino, Iriko got a clear green, while mine was, black, what is this, tasteless irony. Well it is my favorite color next to white, blue and red, actually most of my clothes are of these colors. When they finished installing everything the guys told us that we had a race lifting boon. Lucky. But I shooed them out quick because they were eyeing my sisters with lewd eyes, not their fault though, especially with Irino, she likes to wear the most revealing of stuffs. I'm pretty sure they clicked their tongues at me, the bunch of rude bastards. On the way to my room someone grabbed me, most likely Irino, what does she want this time? Last time I remember her asking me, hey Oni I dot chan let's kiss, can you imagine my surprise then? Turning around, whoa. Why scream? Am I disgusting or something, Yuriko said narrowing her eyes silently, yes it was Yuriko not Irino, which was really rare. N dot n dot n oh I dot I'm sorry. I thought it was Irino, I said, you prefer her type huh, she whispered something I couldn't hear, say what, nothing, I said pick the city of Arium when you start, that's where I'll be, then she left for her room only saying that. Eh. I must have looked stupid then because it took a handful of seconds before I comprehended the situation. She just invited me to play with her, lucky me. I was so happy I practically jumped in the capsule completely ignoring the new voice that was screaming from behind my door. Onii.chan, let's have s. I leave the rest to your imagination. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.